sound. This is a representation of a sound wave. And notice the sound waves are moving from left to right because this gray thing here is moving back and forth. And if you watch carefully, it compresses air molecules together and that these compressions progress from left to right across the tube. Now notice if you pay attention to just uh, one molecule, which notice they mark some of them here in red, if you pay attention to just one molecule, the molecules just vibrate back and forth like this. Uh, they do not travel from left to right along the tube. So even though the wave is moving along the tube like this, the particles of air are not moving along the tube. The particles of air are just vibrating back and forth in place. So this is kind of the definition of a longitudinal wave. Sound is a longitudinal mechanical wave, meaning that it's the particles of the medium are being moved as the wave goes by. This means that the movement of the particles is parallel to the direction that the wave is moving. The medium for sound is air. The speed of sound at zero degrees Celsius is 331 meters per second. The speed of sound increases by 0 0.607 meters per second for every degree Celsius of temperature. Now here's another representation of a sound wave. So notice you would have here some object which is vibrating back and forth like this, causing areas of air molecules to be compressed together. It's higher pressure, and you can see I have multiple higher pressure areas. But then, as this object moves backwards, it makes areas of lower pressure. And these areas of lower pressure are here. So this right here is a graph of the pressure of the wave. So notice that the pressure here is low, so I'm down here, pressure here is high. So as I graph this, pressure goes up, and then the pressure goes down, then the pressure goes up, and the pressure goes down, the pressure goes up. Now this looks just like a transverse wave, and sound is not a transverse wave. This is actually just a graph of pressure. Now just like in a transverse wave, you have crests and troughs, in a sound wave, you also have maximum areas and minimum areas, but the terminology is different. The maximum areas are called compressions. So here's a compression, and here's a compression, and here's a compression. So the maximum areas are not crests, they are called compressions. The minimum areas, areas of lowest pressure, here and here and here, these areas are called rarefactions. So just remember, for sound waves, there are no crests and troughs. There are compressions and rarefactions. In a sound wave or a longitudinal wave, I could still have a wavelength. The distance from here to here, that's a wavelength. And notice that wavelength is maintained. Now, when this pressure wave gets down to the eardrum, this high pressure will make the eardrum go this way. The low pressure will make the eardrum come out. So the eardrum will go back and forth at the same rate as these pressure waves are moving through the air. Therefore, the eardrum will vibrate at the same rate that the object that's causing the waves moves, and that's how a person hears a sound. When we use the term frequency in waves in general, for sound waves we call that pitch. So if a sound is being played and the frequency of the sound changes, we would say that there is a change in pitch. People generally, it is said, can hear from 20 hertz in the deepest, deepest bass, and that would be like thunderstorms and trains going by, to 20,000 hertz, which maybe people can't even really hear. But 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz is called the audible range of sound. Amplitude in sound is called loudness. So if you have a sound wave, uh, and it has a greater amplitude than another sound wave, you would perceive the sound wave with a greater amplitude as being louder. Now this wave was actually recorded with a microphone, so this is a graph of the amplitude or the sound pressure when somebody whistled into a microphone. So this is a recording of a whistle. So two questions to try to answer here. 
noting, noticing that there, this axis is the time of the wave, what is the period of this wave, and what is the frequency of this wave?